Hi everybody, Oko here, and welcome to the beginning of a very special video game playthrough that we're going to be doing here on the channel. This is Final Fantasy XI on the PC, and this is a MMORPG, which stands for a massive multiplayer online role-playing game. And yeah, this is going to be a game that's going to be sort of an ongoing project on the channel. Unlike other regular RPGs, this is an online one, and uh, it, it is a huge, massive game. I mean, there's just no other way to really describe it. Uh, this game, you know, compared to other games that I've done on the channel or I've ever really played before, it's so much bigger in mass. Yeah, I played this game quite a bit when I was young. Um, I played it, last time I played this game was about 15 years ago on PlayStation 2. It's amazing how much uh, the game has actually changed since then. Back when I played the game, there wasn't... Uh, the game is basically about doubled in size since I played it last, between all of the expansions and additions that they've uh, made to the game. When I originally played the game way back in the day, I... Yeah, I, I, I was quite social on this game. It's kind of fun, actually, to talk to people and get involved as much as you can. When I first started the game, I was on this server, Midgar Zormer. Didn't find that one very populated. So I ended up uh, moving over to the Sylph server, and that's where I uh, spent most of my time there adventuring. I actually originally, there was a fellow named Tebian who actually found me online through a Final, a Final Fantasy forum and invited me to come over to his uh, world. So I got a world pass and moved over to Sylph and got involved with a link shell over there called the Argonauts. And that was a lot of fun, but, um, you know, I still only experienced maybe, uh, I, I think I only got about halfway through the main storyline before I sort of gave it up. I'm hoping that we can get a little more into it this time, but, you know, we'll just have to see. This is such a huge game. I'm still not 100% sure how I'm really going to structure things, how this is all going to work. But we'll just slowly pick away at this a bit at a time. I do sort of have things sorted out. And, you know, I kind of have uh, written everything out of the main storyline, the basic story ideas and plot points. I've taken all the expansions and sort of divided it up into 111 parts that I'm tentatively going to sort of work around. But we'll just have to see how things go because, like I said, this game is just so big and... Anything could happen, really. You know, it, it all depends on how we interact with the people and the other players. Because ultimately, this game is meant to be played with other people. They have done some changes to the game, which we will go into once we start playing the game. Uh, but they've made some changes which have made it a little easier to play solo. There's a new thing called a trust system where you can actually summon NPCs uh, into existence to battle with you. So you can want to make your own parties a lot like you could... In uh, Final Fantasy XII, you sort of control your main character, but the uh, other members that you involve, that you invite, sort of uh, fight on their own, but as a whole party. But anyway, like I said, we'll look more into that well, as we get a little closer to that. Yeah, and I don't want to talk too much uh, about the, my past with the game, uh, at least not the, the personal things with the game, because. I kind of want to move forward and just start uh, start over. We're going to be moving forward in a brand new world with a brand new character right from scratch. You can start this game in one of three areas. There's the Kingdom of Sandoria. Kingdom... There's the Kingdom of Sand... There's Sandoria, Bastok, and Windurst. And I've decided we're going to start the game in Sandoria. That's where I started the game originally back when I played the first time. Yeah, that little opening cutscene we're seeing here sort of explains the world pretty good, but uh, we're never we're not going to be seeing any of these characters again. This is just sort of to set, sort of sets the world. We see the races here, some of the monsters that we can fight, and we're never going to see this town again that they're in here. It's, it's just sort of for this little movie, and uh, this is the only movie that we're going to see. Little, pardon me, the only cutscene we're going to see that has a uh, full motion video. Graphics, everything, all of this, this game is full of cutscenes. That's what half the game really is. And the, they, they use in-game graphics for all the rest of the cutscenes, though. So 
Enjoy the pretty visuals here while you have it. This was originally a PS2 generation game. This game came out in 2002. So the graphics are a little more rudimentary than anything you know, current, of course. In something like uh, you know Final Fantasy XIV. The graphics are nowhere near as good as that. But, you know, that's okay. So, we're just about nearing the end of this little movie here. Yeah, I just have been thinking a lot about this game, and I have so much nostalgia for this game. And this is a very difficult game, and it's a hard game to really get into. But that's one of the reasons, now that I have this YouTube channel, where I'm playing these old games, I thought that it would be a good idea to sort of revisit this while it's still up and available to play. And sort of for historical purposes, to show what Final Fantasy XI is all about. This game, next year this game will be celebrating 20 years, and yeah, we just don't really know how much longer you're going to be able to play Final Fantasy XI, at least in this form. There's been rumors about Square Enix making an offline version where you can sort of just play with the trust system, I suppose. But yeah, we haven't heard much about that yet, but here we are. So I suppose without further ado, let's just get into things and let's start our adventure into the world of Final Fantasy XI. All right, so here is the one-time character creation screen that we get. You can be a human male. There's eight different faces. I've already gone through these to find the one that's closest to me. I'm trying to make it look like me. I can't get it very close. I mean, I'm a, I'm a three-foot-tall orange monster. I think the closest we're going to get to my hair is like this. The dark hair is nice, so I'm gonna go with the lighter one. I did want to show you the other things though. There's the human female. Lots of good looks. Elf, male, elven female. I'm not gonna go through all of these. Male Taro Taro, who, which I did consider. Female. Adorable. Mithra. Cat-like people. They're all just uh, looks. You can see some, like, stat numbers they give you down there. The Gulka. All male. Very large. This would be a cool one to play as. What other colors do they have? Is there a blue one? There's a white one. Yeah, this one's kind of neat. Anyway, I'm gonna just stick with uh, Hume. Uh, is it that one? This one... That one kind of reminds me of Zell. Especially with hair like that. I'm gonna go with this. We can play as a warrior, monk, white mage, black mage, red mage, thief. Just like the original Final Fantasy. All the same classes. And we're gonna go with a classic warrior. Start with that. Name. Don't suppose... Let's see. Now I've been thinking a lot about which server that we choose. These are all the different servers. Uh, that host all of the different uh, players. They're not all on just one. They're all on different one. The most populated one is Asura. But I've heard a lot of problems about that server. How it's also full of a lot of uh, bots and gill farmers and um, gill sellers, in fact. And, and I don't know. Apparently there's a lot of just spam going on, which is hard to deal with in the chat. I wanted to go to one of the other servers. When I originally played, it was on Sylph, but I don't even see that here anymore, so I- Oh yeah, there's Sylph. 
Yeah, so like I said, Asura is the most populated. Some of the other more populated ones include Odin and Bahamut. But I'm going to try one of the other ones. I, I kind of like Phoenix. I thought, what's this? Gold World Pass? The name you entered is unavailable. Yeah, I had a feeling that that name wouldn't work. Uh, let's see here. Let's try. They don't let you do capitals, huh? Let's try that. The Kingdom of Sandoria. The Elven, a proud race of warriors, forged the kingdom in North Quan from the fires of civil war. House of Eraguil had has ruled from the fortress city of Sandoria for over 500 years. Two elite chival chivalric orders keep watch over the kingdom. The royal knights patrol its borders while the temple knights maintain peace within the capital. Thanks to their vigilance, no army has ever breached the city walls. Yeah, you select one of these three countries to start in. It's, uh, this is the Republic of Bastok. The nation... Hard to read, huh? The nation was established in southern Quan by the Humes, a people with great technological ingenuity. The president is elected by popular vote. Once a small mining town, the capital city of Bastok prospered when Mithril was discovered in the surrounding mountains. In time, it grew into the great industrial power it is today. In the southern part of the capital live the mighty Gulka. They, tireless, they tirelessly work the mines and forges that drive Bastok's economy. And then there's Windurst. That was where we uh, did our little tech demo. And this is going to be the actually the last place we're going to visit. So let me just read the little thing here, first of all. The Federation of Winders. Tribes of Tarutaru from the sweeping grasslands and neighboring islands of southern Mindarsha united to form this League of States. It is governed by a council of representatives from the five ministries of magic, legacies of the five founding tribes. Their decisions are based on the prophecies of the mystic star Sybil. The capital, Winder City, was razed was razed in the war was razed in the war 20 years ago but this prominent center of learning has since been restored to its former glory yeah and actually in the way i'm going to play the story that's actually windurst is actually going to be the last place we're going to visit which is why i wanted to sort of show it off a little bit in the tech demo uh, but all three are great places bastok's really neat but uh, we're going to be starting the our story in sandoria because that's where That's where I started when I played this game way back like 15 years ago. So, Oko Sigo. But you can all call me Oko. All right, good old Sandoria. Oh, sure sure spent a lot of time there. Anytime now. <laughs> there we go. The fortress city of Sandoria lies to the north on the great continent of Quan, the beating heart of an ancient kingdom. It is home to a thousand legends past. But now her reign of glory is but a memory. Heroes raise shining swords to the heavens no more. The sun has set on the kingdom of knights, an old lion never to raise again. Thus do some dismiss her now. Yet young elven knights still venture proudly into the wilds of Venadio, determined to triumph over any foe. Yeah, this is very medieval 
themed type of game, which I like. This is probably the most medieval type Final Fantasy, actually, out of all of them. With the exception of possibly 9. Although, no, 9 was a lot more technological. Should fortune favor him, bards across the land will sing of his exploits for generations to come. Of course, he has only begun his rise to glory. No one can tell what his future holds. Never, be never before has he set foot within the elven capital, but he is resolved to let... Whatever that said. <laughs> yeah. I guess they're talking about us. I guess they're talking about me, huh? So there we go. There we are, guys. Here we are, back in Venadio. Final Fantasy XI. This is... Oh, God. The, the biggest game I ever played. So this is uh, Corral. I say, watch where you're going. Oh, a new recruit, are you? That explains it. Well, far be it from me to chastise someone on his first day. S still, as a citizen of Sandoria, you... Wait, the expedition has returned. Halt! I must inspect your ranks for infiltrators. Oh, let us through. We are exhausted. Still, I must check for infiltrators. As a temple knight, I am responsible for the safety of the citadel. You royal knights must cooperate. Mon Mona de Las? Is this how you thank us, treating us like criminals? You temple knights have it easy. Safe inside these walls. We have no time for your games. How dare you? What is going on here? <laughs> Lady, Cur Lady Curilla. These royal knights refuse to verify their identities. Wow, I don't remember this game starting like this. Welcome back, Royal Knights. You must be weary. After reporting to Prince Tryon, shed your armor and see your families. Long have they waited for you. Yes, Lady Kurilla. Entreno. Royal Knights, forward! Entreno. So these uh, characters with the green names are NPCs, non-playable characters. And they're people that we'll interact with in order to proceed the story in the game, typically. They sort of make things happen. And then the people, when you see characters with white name, those are pl pe players like us who are playing. So what we have here, um, those knights are back from a dangerous mission. Remember that sometimes rules can be bent. Take pride in your duties and do not mind the trivial. Remember, we are the face of Sandoria. Yes, madam. And to the new recruit, I say this. The glory of Sandoria depends upon each and every citizen. Good luck. General Kurilla, bravo. You are gifted with much sympathy. Rahal. This guy is Rahal, huh? Without your temple knights, we royal knights could not patrol the wilderness. Your order is a sturdy pillar upon which we rest. So, Temple Knights and Royal Knights. Two different groups, huh? We are not your servants, Rahal. But tell me how fared your patrol. You seem drawn to the world outside, Kurilla. Perhaps you find the fortress too constraining? None of your business. But your troops did look weary. Did you make any progress against the enemy? No, it is ever the same. No one can tell what orcs may do next, and always must I struggle with two chains of command. You know, Prince Tryon and Prince... Oh my, how do you say that? P Puge? You know, Prince Tryon and Prince Puge? I see the wisdom in both their strategies, but... Rahal, we needn't discuss this before the recruit. Shall we walk to the castle? 
It would be an honor. Let us enjoy a bottle of 1812 Rollenberry in the warmth of my chamber. Well, I prefer the strategy council room. I shall make Batalia tea should you thirst. Ha! Ever the same, I see. Yep, get get used to long conversations and long cutscenes in this game. Holy cow. That's half the game, I think. Yikes. That was General Corilla of the Temple Knights. Her order watches over the city and protects Chateau Doraguil. I remember that place. Chateau Doraguil. Yeah, I remember that. Rahal's Royal Knights, on the other hand, spy on our enemies and battle fiends. Hmm. With such disparate duties, the two orders maintain a tense rivalry. Perhaps I could be of service. Is there anything in particular you'd like to know? So let's talk to him a little bit. And I want to go out and do battle. I want to go shopping. I want to know more about adventuring. Ah, recruits. Don't know which way to hold a sword and you think you're ready for adventures. Well, what would you like to know? Um, hunting monsters. Novices. Don't know your own limits until a fiend beats it into your head with, for you. How about gathering some hides for the Tanner's Guild on Pikeman's Way? Should you need directions, ask those around you. Our citizens are friendly, for the most part. Oh. Here, take this adventurer coupon. Give it to Elevia in Victory Square. I'll show you where she is on your map. There she is. Open the map option from the main menu, select markers, and then scroll to the right. That will tell you where you need to go. To give items to others, select trade from the main menu. Don't you forget it. Thank you, Corral. Corral? All right, let's... There's, there we are. There's my body. So, let's go to Victory Square, then. Uh, wow, this is a... There's quite a few people around here. Darn. Wait. Ah, I wanted to talk to him. <laughs> he was in a hurry. Uh, you'll find a, a lot of people in this game. Whoa, there's quite a group here. Renny. Let's see here. How do I untarget something? Hmm. Yeah, it's gonna take a while to... Oh, there we go. Let's talk to this guy. This is Renmi. No, nope, he's not talking. Let's try this person. Ayataro. We can check people. Oh, he's quite strong. Ayatara Quetzalcoatl Plucker. <laughs> oh, he said hi.
<laughs> it's just fun to talk to random people, actually. So, victory square, huh? Darn it! People are in such a hurry. Wanted to say hello. Here we are. Let's... Oh, here's someone. <laughs> Bitter monk. Uh... <laughs> I'm new. Maybe we will see each other around. <laughs> Let's check. I see. Yeah, some people will reveal more information, I think. Oh, level 99 puppet master. Wow. Let's see, I'll say, uh... Let's see what this does. <laughs> Alright, let's go talk to our friend here. Uh, we've got to get in a habit of, uh, yeah, unselecting things. There we go. I will also say that the camera is inverted. The, the camera, it, at least I can move it around, but the, it is inverted from what I'm used to in uh, Final Fantasy XV, for example. So, let's uh, do this. Uh, a Levia. Why, hello, I am A Levia. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Learning your way around can be daunting at first, but take your time and you'll be fine. I want to find some quests. Though I wish the situation were less dire, there exists many who require your aid. Do you wish to reference the materials I have gathered on them? Um, whoa. All kinds of people here. Let's see what let's see what's in South Sandoria. The following individuals are likely to request your assistance if you speak to them. Who will you see in Southern Sandoria? Um, I don't know, Glenn? Allow me to make things easier for you and mark their location on your map. Who will you see? Can I add more than one? Yes, we can. I guess we'll add them all, huh? Carve upon. Um, Legata. Wow, they're all over. And Am Am Amutial. Uh oh. Did I get them all? No. Mogi! So, uh. Yeah, uh, we've almost filled up all of our markers. Um. Oh god, there's just. Um, it's a little overwhelming at first because there's so much to do. Who's this? R Ridia? I'm going to follow Rydia. I like her name. Final Fantasy IV. Rydia. Rydia, come back. <laughs> come back here. Come back here, Rydia. 
Really, uh... Oh my god, there's just someone dressed as a chocobo! Oh, she stopped. I like your name. How do I... Oh, there we are. Home point. Let's access the home point. Well, Riddy, I didn't seem very interested in what I had to say to her, so... We'll have to try and talk to her again sometime. You have registered a new home point. Uh, Septus is my home point. So, what else do we need to do? Let me think. It's been so long since I've played this. Uh, I know one thing we need to do is... I'm, I'm gonna start looking into some of those... Um... Markers that we were, we've been given. Hi, who's this guy? <laughs> Maya, Maya no Souk. There's a lot of people around. Hi again. Shorin. Sure. Hi. Yeah. Bitter Monk seems to be interested. Accept trade? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. How do I do that? He's gonna give me something. Oh, no. Accept trade, what? What happened? What happened? What? <laughs> I think he just gave me money. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm pretty sure he just gave me money. Equipment status? He gave us $50,000. Holy cow. Holy cow. Oh shoot, I'm confused. Here. <laughs> How do I show excitement? I, this game 15 years ago on a uh, PS2. Now I'm playing on a PC. I have a lot to learn. Nos nostalgia brought me back. How do I read more of the chat? So much new things now.
I really just started. Like. All right, let's go. So, there's some things we gotta do here. Yeah, this guy's sleeping, huh? Maple, Maplecade. Well, that guy was really nice, so we'll have to remember him. If we see him around again, yeah, we gotta say hello. He gave us 50,000 gil. See that? See if you're nice to people here. That was one of the first people I just came across. Now, there was one thing that we had to do here. Uh, when we, right at the entrance, it might not be the here. Let me just see. Oh, is this him? Er no. Maybe? A lawn. Oh, this just started. Greetings and well met. Guardian of the kingdom, alone, at your most humble service. My station is to help along those new to the life of an adventurer in Vanadiel. I specialize in the types of fundamental knowledge necessary for success in such endeavors, as well as related methods of pedagog pedagogy. With my aid, you can rest assured that your first steps down the adventurer's path will not go astray. Should you still consider yourself a newcomer, I would highly recommend that you make full use of my services. This is my permanent post, and I never leave it. Remember it well. Whenever you need a hand with anything, anything at all, don't hesitate to come calling. So that was probably, I guess that was one of the people I was supposed to see. Um... So there's supposed to be a couple other people here that we can talk to. You have registered a new home point. You are now able to teleport here from any other home point. Let's set this as our home point. Who's this guy? This looks, why is, looks like two names. I think there might be two people there squished together. It looks like, oh yeah, it is. Whoa, that was trippy. El, Elkmar, I'm quite impressed at this, this server immediately. This is the Phoenix server. I, I like this. There's a lot of people here. You know, I looked around, I was just, I did the tech demo in uh, Asura, and yeah, it was a little bit kind of crazy. It would be nice, I wonder how I get the map to appear, the... Mm. Yeah, it would be nice if I could get the map in the... Uh... Wow. What's all this? What's all this stuff? Holy smokes! Are these people? I guess so. Huh. Wide scan, wow. Hmm. 
There was someone I'm looking for. Oh, how do I get the map, you guys? In the, uh, up, in like... There's gotta be a way to have the map somewhere on the screen for me to look at. No? Maybe not. Uh... No. Oh, yeah, there's this thing called sign... That's what it was. Anyway, we'll get it. There's another... There's another place to hang out. Hold on. We'll find it. I just gotta look around. Yeah, the Sandoria. It's a big city. I'm looking for a former examiner. I heard he lived around here. You've never heard of examiners? Look, in order to become a knight, you have to pass a trial. The examiners judge your worth. But South Sandoria's streets are so confusing. I hear they I hear they, I hear they were built this way to thwart invaders. It is kind of confusing. I get lost around here. Wow, where are we going? I don't even remember where we're going. What is all this? Oh, I think I know where this is. Yeah, it, this whole first episode is just going to be wandering around, basically, and just sort of, like, familiarizing ourselves with this. I remember when I used to play this, there was people wandering around everywhere. It's quite deserted now, but... I shouldn't say that. I'm not going to be negative like that. It's, it's not that deserted. I'm already happy with... The, the amount of people around here. I've already talked to several people. Um, I guess we should just start talking to random people. What's Synergy Furnace? What the hell? No, we're not doing any Synergy yet. Yeah, there was another... There's two main exits or entrances to this city. Luce, Lucienne, I think this might have been one of the people on the markers. Bye. Hello. Lugworm. Fishing tackle. This is all fishing stuff. Scroll of light. Threnody. Glen. There's Glen. Oh, what to do? My husband is on patrol in West Ron 4. But he forgot his solve when he went out this morning. It's a dangerous job he does, and you never know when a good ointment could save your life. Perhaps you could take it to him. I'd take it myself, to be sure, but I cannot leave the city. Sure, I'll take it. I thank you. His name is... Avelion. He patrols the wilderness outside, but not too far from Westgate. We'll look for him. Eastgate. Oh, this... I don't... I think, we've, I think we're going in circles. Let me talk to this guy, this Arava, Aravog TK, because I think that this is one of the people we can talk to. Sorry, I have deliveries to make. I am Ar Aravog, TK, a Temple Knight. I am one of the guards charged with overseeing Sandoria's conquest campaign. Would you cast Signet on me? Yes, this is what we want. We had first place in our hands, but we let it slip away. If we want to be ranked first in Venadiel, each and every one of us must do their part. I look forward to hearing of your achievements. Good luck, citizen. I will bestow upon you your nation's sign yet. We've received our nation's sign yet. You are now taking part in our nation's conquest campaign. Yeah, that's important. I am Avarag. So, what else can Avarag do for us? I want to spend my conquest points. I want to go on a supplies quest. So, yeah, I mean, there's just so much to do with this game. I don't know how much of it we're going to be, um... Yeah, I'm just going to slowly kind of play it. <laughs> These guys must be all getting together to do a group or something like that. They probably don't want some noob, like, bothering them right now. Well, 
Let's go to the other gate, because I still feel like there's people I wanted to talk to. Who's this? Matari. Wow. Nice outfit. He's really dressed cool. This guy's a 99 rune fencer. I don't even know what that is. Rune fencer and a warrior like me. <laughs> sort of. Wow, that guy's got a hell of an outfit. Look at that. Bet he's been playing for a long time, huh? Yeah, not getting... How is he sitting on a box like that? How is he doing that? So this is the uh, auction house area here. We'll spend a lot of time here in the game as well, but I'll explain that more later. There's just a, too much to explain in the first episode here. All right, here's the other gate. I'm sure there was some people around here we, we wanted to talk to. Anna Barut. Nothing to report, as usual. Although I suppose having nothing to report is a good thing. It is quite far cry from the days when our kingdom was under siege by the orcish Bloodwing horde, led by the merciless Dog... Dogvideg? I still get weak in the knees when I recall the thunderous din raised by the footsteps of Dogsvedev, mighty buggered mount. Uh, okay. Here's someone hanging out in the tree. Moggy. Moggy was one of the people who needed help. Might you be an adventurer? It's easy to get lost out there in the wilds. So I've put up signposts. I hope they'll be of use. That's it? Actually, I have a problem. I heard from an adventurer that my signposts were stained by foul weather recently, and with all the dangers out there, I was wondering if you might help. If you could just clean the four signposts in Jugner Forest for me, of course I'd pay you for your time. You'll clean them? That's great news indeed. Remember, there are four signposts in Jugner Forest that need cleaning. Well, I, I probably shouldn't have accepted that, actually, because Jugner Forest is a long, long ways away. But, oh well. Job levels, combat skills. Equipment. So I don't have a sword or anything yet, do I? Oh, stored items. I can equip one. I don't know why it wasn't equipped in the first place. Onion sword. Head. What's on my head? I don't have anything. I guess I'm wearing all this stuff. I wonder why the sword wasn't equipped. Oh well. Well, it's equipped now. An onion sword. Yeah, the most basic sword. But it's good enough. Metuyo. Yeah, this is the center of town. This is an important area. Yeah, Gondabad. This guy's important. What's this? There's something sparkling on the ground here, it looks like. Mystic Receiver. Nothing happens. Let's talk to Gondabad here. This guy I know is very important in the game. I, Gondabad, am an esteemed member of the storied Juno Institute of Magical Studies. That's it. Yeah, well, we'll have to talk to him again later. We gotta wait until we get to level 5 before something happens with him. Katharina. Katha, Come in, come in, and welcome to the Lion Springs Tavern, run by none other than the great hero of the Norvalain Resistance, Valdorato himself. 
Make yourself at home. Can I interest you in some of our famous mulsum? Okay. Muzu Kuzu. A traveling bard walks far and near while wandering that celestial sphere, from bustling towns to godforsaken lands, but none I love more than the swell. Inhabitants of Venadiel, especially when their gill comes to my hands. Pay me what you think I'm worth, and songs of legend may string forth. Open your ears and take a ration of my melodic cantillation. I'll give him 200 and see what happens. Which title do you return to? I'll add you to my repertoire and sing of you. So au revoir. The power of song, a mystical thing that comes forth only when you sing. A minstrel's job is a minstrel's job in life is never done. So sing a doodle doodle lay and be upon your merry way, and check your title too, O Forthy One. New adventurer, a hero of our time, the name of Okozigo throughout the world will chime. Hey, say, would you have any time on your hands? I require four flint stones, and I never seem to have enough of them. Excellent, then I'll be waiting. Remember, it's four flint stones. So, remember the flint stones, and we'll come back here and give them to Legata. What do you have to say, Nora Jai? May I speak with you for a moment about the ecology of Venadio? Have you heard of Ordell's Caves? Yes, those beautiful natural formations that wind their way under the Lathine Plateau. Are you aware that right now a limestone-eating fiend is destroying the splendor of the caves with its voracious appetite? We need the assistance of upstanding, environmentally conscious adventurers such as yourself in ridding the caves of this monster. Can we count on your cooperation? You can count on me. I knew you'd come through for us. Bring me proof that you defeated the creature, and I'll pay you a reward from the Vanadial Environmental Resource Management Initiative Network Fund. <laughs> Rogero. Our vermin agent in the field will be waiting for you in the caves. Come back safe now. I remember that mission. Yeah, I remember that one. Welcome to the Lion Springs. Enjoy your selection of fine food and beverages. Well... We've talked to a lot of people. Um, we still have to work on a few things before we start the main game. There appear to be a tear in the fabric of space. <laughs> well, I better not mess with that. All right, I'm gonna go to the other gate. Wow, look how beautiful that is. It's a beautiful day here in Sandoria. Let's talk to this person, Cat Troil. How is your day going? <laughs> Cat lots of. Whoops. Level 99 white mage, 49 red mage. Yeah, all these people here are maxed out. It's quite a community, you know, of people that have been playing this for a long time. Wow, look at the outfit. Well, she's focused on the uh, auction house right now, so we, we won't bother her. Oh, yeah. 
Alon, that's who we were looking for. Let me just talk to her again here quickly. So you're interested in some entry-level duties to put you well on your way to greatness. Not to worry, I've got just the thing for you. Go talk to the guard, Era Vogue. Just over yonder and have him cast Signet on you. Then come back and see me. I did that already. Right? Well, looks like you were able to get your Signet. Easy enough, yes? As long as Signet is in effect, there is always a possibility that you will obtain crystals from any enemies that you defeat. There are also other more concrete benefits, such as increased defense and evasion. Signet even helps you when not engaged in combat with an enemy. For example, it boosts the rate at which healing occurs while at rest. For all these reasons and more, you should consider it essential to have Signet cast on you at all times. Very well then. As a reward for successful completion of your first assignment, I would like to present you with this, with these strips of meat jerky. There is more here than meets the eye. That was a joke. Anyway, this is a type of item known amongst adventurers as a meal. The meal in particular will temporarily enhance your attack power when eaten. Whenever any type of meal is consumed, you will receive such... You will, re you will receive some such temporary status bonus. Naturally, different meals grant different types of bonuses. For the most part, meat dishes will affect attack power. Conversely, seafood dishes generally enhance defense, and so on and so forth. Take care to select dishes best suited to your purpose. One thing you should make note of, however, is that you cannot eat a meal while another meal's status bonus is still in effect. Your stomach would simply burst. Hmm, that's quite a lot to cover. Are you with me so far? Yes. Great. Well, talking can only prepare you so much. Let's get right down to it. Go ahead and pop one of these strips of meat jerky. After eating a meal, and status icon designated as food will appear in the upper left portion of your screen. Come back and talk to me once again once you've confirmed that it's there. I don't think this is right. Well, I ate it. Check out the full belly on you. Well done. Signet and meals can both play crucial roles whenever you take on any type of enemy. This is a key lesson that you would do well not to forget. Next, let's get those pristine hands of yours nice and dirty. No sense in letting that food go to waste now, is there? Let's send you out to fight a monster on a full stomach. Exciting though, that gate over there will lead you into an area with hostile enemies. Try to target one of the monsters and then select the check option from your menu. This will help you ascertain an enemy's level of difficulty and make sure they are not too strong. A smart adventurer picks his fights. Be warned, engaging any enemy that checks that checks as very tough or above will result in your sign yet, not granting you the defense and evasion bonuses you would otherwise receive. And that brings us to your next assignment. It's high time you learn how to use a weapon skill. Perhaps you've already noticed, but sometimes while fighting an enemy, your skills will rise little by little. When your skill with the weapon you are wielding reaches a predetermined value, weapon skills will become available for use. Combo for those adept with hand-to-hand -hand weapons, wasp sting for those who fight with daggers, fast blade for those who prefer the sword. Shining Strike for wielders of the club. Heavy Swing for those who take up the staff. And on and on and on. 
Selecting status from the main menu will, will bring up the combat skill option. This will display all the current skill values in all weapon categories. The first weapon skill for each weapon type can be learned at a skill value of 5. So make that your first goal and we'll take it from there. The first weapon skill for each can be learned at skill value of 5. Okay. So that means what? Fight enemies? Yeah, we seem to be having some uh, frame skips. So hold on. Yeah, I'm just gonna wander around one more time. There's still a few areas of the castle that we haven't uh, seen yet. I'll look for those. Well, I think one area is just right up through the middle here of the castle. Take a look around here, and I th yeah, so we're right in the front here. Uh, the auction house is sort of right in the very bottom. Front, bottom. Uh, let's talk to some of these knights. Whoops. Obajart. You stand beneath Victory Arch. Beyond lies North Sandoria. The tale of its magnificence stretches back some 300 years to the era of working Achafagais. Holy smokes. The arch stands impervious, unfelled even by the great chaos brought about by the Civil War and Crystal Wars. It is precisely this permanence that has made the Victory Arch the pride of the Royal Army. Aphage? Aphage. Beyond the arch lies North Sandoria, where Chateau d'Orgueil, the cathedral, and the, cons and the consulates of allied nations stand. Let's go take a look. So here we have Northern Sandoria, a little cutscene showing us around. Have you heard what's going on in Adolin, the land to the west? I, this is uh, Anila and Mat Matildi. I have. Things are starting to heat up. But can you imagine pioneering new lands in this day and age? What in Venadiel could they possibly be thinking? The lands are filled with airships, yet they pretend at being trailblazers. The whole affair certainly seems ludicrous enough. Not like it affects us here, though. Only adventurers would. Hmm, can I help you? What's this now? You want to know more about the colonization project? Sorry, but we're as much in the dark as you. Beyond the reaches of the Sea of Zaf Malug, toward where the sun sets, lies Adelin. It's a country in its own right, no? Quite savage lands for a country. I must declare, still, though, no word is that they are searching for able-bodied adventurers to serve as pioneers. If memory serves, wasn't the Juno Chamber of Commerce and Industry holding some sort of test for interested applicants? If exploring new lands piques your interest, you might consider heading over to find out more. Chamber of Commerce and Industry holding. Well, if you truly feel they need your aid, I wish you the best of luck. There's my character. Oh, there he is. So here's Northern Sandoria. There's a lot to do here. I used to spend a lot of time here when I was young and played this game. You stand before... Yeah, we already know all that. So, I think it's just a few people I want to talk in, uh, talk to in here. Let's look around this area. And... We'll go over a few more of the sort of mechanics of the game. And then maybe we'll just go outside and kill a few monsters or something like that. Still getting used to the inverted uh, camera. Let's talk to Elsie. Elsie. Can I interest you in some magical maps? Um, I don't know if I need any of these maps yet. I mean, we could certainly afford them. Thanks to the generosity of our friend. Oh, Ardell's Cave. Yeah, well, anyway. 
Hmm. I'm not going to buy those yet. But we'll remember that she has them. We are going to need some. Yeah, we'll need... Oh, she's got a lot. Next page. Holy smokes. Wow, she's got a lot. King Rampair's tomb. Hmm. All right. We'll remember her. She's the map lady. That's good to know. Um, what do we have here? This is El... Nope. No. There we are. Al Albesh. Oh, where could he be? I, I came here with my father and now he's gone. My father is a knight. Today he's on holiday and so we went out for a walk. B but now... My father is so proud of his knighthood. He's still in uniform today. He looks noble indeed, though his armor creaks with each step. He's not wearing his helmet, though. We came through Victory Arch together, but now... Oh, let's talk to this guy. Hi there. Gak Gienks. Gienks. Let's... I don't know. How do people come up with these names? I don't know. This guy is obviously... Let's see if we can... 99 Blue Mage and level 49 Red Mage. You know, I was thinking of Blue... Oh, he's Japanese. Yeah, Japanese. Let's uh, just say our goodbyes. <laughs> Have a fun. <laughs> Let's walk around a little bit. Couldn't really talk to that guy. I don't know if that guy could understand what I was saying. Behold, Chateau d'Argoyle, the greatest fortress in the realm. Yeah, it's quite a, it's quite a sight. So, I think, I think the best thing for me to do is going to be, uh, we're going to be talking more to people, I think, when it's just relevant. It's just, it's too overwhelming right now. Too many people. If I talk to every person around here, it's just going to be a ticking all day. Oh, it's just it's so beautiful, huh? Look at the sun coming through. I guess we can do it here. I was, I wanted to go over some of the uh, emotes that we can do. I was gonna do it over by the uh, exit, but we can do it here. So I, I usually do wave and bow, but let's try some of these other ones. Let's try uh, this one. Let's see, if, yeah, he points. Point. Let's try. Salute. Wow. I'll have to remember some of these. Uh, how about this one? Laugh. Mm. Cry. What does Neil? Neil. Does that actually kneel without... Not sure if that ends up... Kneels respectively. Uh, he gets back up. Yeah, there's a lot here. Let's try... Uh... I'm getting all these out of the book, by the way. Um... Whoops. Welcome. Let's try Joy. What does that one do? There used to be, I remember there was one where he was sort of jumping around happy, but now, was it like dance? I don't know if dance would work. No. It says he dances, but he doesn't actually do anything. What's this one? Psych. 
Oh, like getting psyched up. Praise. Oh, that one makes noise, too. Alright, that's good to know. Praise. Smile. How can you even see? That's... Hmm. Blush. Oh, that is adorable. Oh, I'll have to remember that one. Um, angry. <laughs> Let's see if I can get a little closer in. Yeah, that's a bit better, huh? Let me see the blush again, a little closer up. <laughs> uh... Panic. Think. Mm-hmm. Fume. Angry. Yeah, I mean... Wow, there's so many. Salt. Uh, we'll do a few more here. We're uh, sigh. Comfort. Oh, I'm for comforting someone else. How about this one? Surprised. Oh, that's a good one. All right. Stare. Ah, that one doesn't really do anything, does it? All right, and this one, sit. How long does he sit for, I wonder? I guess he stays like that. So if I want to sit around, I remember I used to do this sometimes, actually, sit around. Yeah. Let's take a picture. I think that if we go over here, we can find... I think this might be one of the guild areas. Phoenix Perch. Oh, uh, this must be like a, an inn. Day adventurer. Confound it. What am I to do? What's the matter, Montaub? Why aren't you cooking supper for the, for the guests? That's just the problem. I started the soup, see? And then I realized I've no batter greens. The broth is but water without it. Now that's odd. Just this morning I asked Bencourt to fetch one. Bon bon. Yes, Master Abuil? Where are the bat greens I asked for? Oh, I forgot to tell you. The grocer said his herb man ran into orcs, so he couldn't get any today. I searched every stall in the city, but there wasn't a sprig to be found. Honest. Well, how can I make my sheep head stew without was water greens? We can get them. Bon Bon, go track down this herb man yourself. Do you think I'm mad? Who would greet the guests if the or orcs got me? Now, now, simmer down, lads. Sir, you're an adventurer, are you not? We can't leave the city with fiends on the, on the road, so we need your help. Our trader, a supplier of fresh produce, works from a tower on the southern edge of West Ronfor. Might you procure a clump of batagreens for us? Of course, you'll be paid for your time. What do you say? Absolutely. Splendid. Take this supplies order to Ferret. He's in a tower far south into West Ronfor. He'll handle he'll hand you a clump of batagreens in return. We always pay after delivery, so you needn't give him any money. Alright, so there's another little mission we can do. Yeah, so this was obviously one of the places we were supposed to come to on our map. 
Uh, I think this is the guild area. Yeah, it is. Nothing to report. I spent a lot of time here when I played before. Holy cow. There's something foul in the air of late. Can you not feel it? I must get some charms to ward away this wickedness. To make such charms, I need two bat wings. Might you bring me some? I'll do it. I am in your debt. I need them to ward away darkness. You know, remember, that's two bat wings. I like fetch quests like that. They're fun. Mar Marine. This part of town is so lively. I like... I like watching everybody just go by about their business. Lively? It's not very lively anymore. Let's see what these people have to talk to. Here's a synergy... Synergy engineer. Visual. He sells things. Maple log. Bow greens. Clump of bow greens. I could just buy one here. But why buy it when we can get one the proper way? Now, what business would an adventurer have in the Carpenter's Guild? This is a union for woodworkers, masons, and the like. That's not why I'm here. Then I'm going to have to ask you to leave. We pride ourselves in safety first here, and we don't want any visitors getting hurt now. Fair enough. R Renrolf. Whoa. He looks powerful. Let's say hello to him. Hi there! Ninety-nine Bard, forty-nine Ninja. Nice to meet a Bard. He might not be around right now. Looks like he's sleeping. All right, Renroth is sleeping right now. That's okay. Oh, he said good evening. <laughs> Looks like You've been playing for a while. I'm an old returning player. Nice to meet you. Yeah, he's, I think we've caught his attention. Here we are, Renro. <laughs> nice to meet you as well. Perhaps our paths will cross again soon. Bye for now. Hehehe. <laughs> Renrof. Take care. Molajant. If you seek the Blacksmith's Guild, you will find it right down those stairs. Take your time. You wouldn't want to fall now, would you? We'll check it out. Uh, who's this? Mao? Meow? Meow? Ah, why must all craftsmen be so uptight? This must be the blacksmith place. 
Dogamir. Welcome to the Blacksmith's Guild Shop. Tin ore, iron ore. So this is for crafting. Stuff for crafting. Lu whoops. Lucretia. Workshop anvil. Some of these things you have to invest in, yeah. Smith kit. A kit used in synthes in synthesizing bronze knives. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do my research again on how these things sort of work. Because it, I used to do this a lot, but I don't remember how to do it now. And But this is one of the ways you make money. Um, yeah, we'll come back to that. Anyway, I think that's enough of this area. This is Castle Chat. Try though you may, there will come a time when failure is inevitable. Channel that agony and bitterness into creating a new plan. That's a good uh, that's good advice. Galmama. Owzy wowzy, don't make me talk. I heard all over. Should probably get that checked. Not sure where this leads. Dapra Dapragant. This is the entrance to the watchtower, which overlooks the woods of Ronfar. Hmm, we're gonna be heading there. Area, West Ronfar. Let's go check out this tower. There's some people here to talk to. We'll get to know more people from our town. Villa Tror. A lone adventurer, are you? You look tough. Seen your share of battles, I'd wager. Wow, quite a group. We here are a team of six elite soldiers charged with guarding this watchtower. We watch day and night to ensure that no monsters approach the city and no troublemakers loiter nearby. So teamwork is essential. You've formed a party before, right? An organized party is stronger than the combined strength of its members. Parties with people of the same national nationality tend to be organized because you can always rely on your own countrymen when times are rough. Try to form a party with at least two members, all with allegiance to the same country. Think you can do it? Let's give it a go. Very well. Let me know when you've connected all your party members. I'll be the judge of whether you've put together a working party or not. All right, we'll be back. Now we're gonna be heading to the forested area around that watchtower. I wonder if we can look out there. No, we can't. We can't really move the camera that way. Can we? I don't know. Anyway, let's get out of here. Oh, this is um, important, actually. It appears that you have arrived at a new survival guide provided by the Adventurer's Mutual Aid Network. Common sense dictates that you should now be able to teleport here from similar tomes throughout the world. All right, so that's good. We want to try and encounter as many of those as we can around the world so we can, well, warp. And it doesn't hurt to also engage a new home point. You are now able to teleport here from any other home point. So in our menu here, I want to look for, yeah, quests. So here's where we collect all of our different quests. Now, the, this is a in the game, the, we have to do a lot of things. We have to do quests, we have to do missions, and we have to, oh boy, monster hunts, you name it. It's all kinds of things. 
what's this? So, current quests. Um, objective list. Yeah, tutorial, basics, first step forward. Speak to one of the following records of eminence guides. Rolandien in Southern Sandoria. That's where we are now, I think. Rolandien. Let's see if we can find that person. Rolandien, I think. Yeah, here we are. Rolandien. you do? I'm gonna pick it up. I saw that. Is it yours? Yes. How will I ever be able to show my beautiful yet shamed face to my superiors again? Oh my, what a stunning coincidence. I had long given up on the hope of bumping into someone who satisfied that tall list of requirements. You would not happen to be knowledgeable about the subject of records of eminence, would you? Nope. Completely understandable. I myself had not heard of the system until I was charged with disseminating information on it to the, mas to the masses. Interesting enough, this conversation is undeniable proof that you have already begun to participate in records of eminence. As you will see in this mandate um, manual, it says, set the first objective from the objective list and everything. As you know, you have cleared the first objective with flying colors. In honor of your accomplishment, I would like to present you with a memorandum. It slinks up from nowhere like an assassin. And it stares with such creepy intensity that you cannot help but uh, think how adorable it is. Do you think it's listening? Do you think it's listening? Each time you hear an objective, the details are recorded within the frame of this eerie doll. On a brighter note, you also receive a quantified measure of your eminence, termed sparks. Oh, of course. I as well cannot stand how that doll stares daggers into the depths of my soul. At least its inventor was magnanimous enough to bestow it with this special function. <laughs> Amazing, is it not? I hear it is all attributable to an astral patina. Sadly, I do not understand much more about it than that. What I do know is that your recipe for success is to set your objectives periodically. That way you can complete them while on your adventures and garner as many sparks as possible. Moreover, some objectives only appear after you complete a certain amount of others. There is always a chance you will be surprised when you check. In the event you have forgotten how to set objectives, go to the objective list under the record of, records of eminence section of the quests menu. From there, you simply pick those most suited to your current undertakings. I suggest partaking in a variety of, of objectives, including the ones that may be repeated. Then when you accrue a sufficient amount of eminence, come to me or one of my friends. We have a reward stockpiled and ready to enter your veteran hands. So there we are. There's another way of collecting items in summation, with benefits more inflated than even the Royal Guard's sense of self-worth and absolutely no downside, why would you not give this a shot? Absolutely. Oh, and as that memory doll has irrevocably bonded to you, there is no need to return it. All we can do with it now is throw it to the w Wendigos if you don't keep it. I'll take it. It's there. Invisible eyes upon you cause the hairs on the back of your neck to rise. <laughs> it's like a little moogle. The memorandal nods in agreement.
Thanks. Thanks, buddy. Alright, so we gained 300 experience points for doing that. We have completed the following Records of Eminence objective. First step forward. As a first time bonus, we have received 300 sparks of eminence for a total of 300! As a special bonus, we are also given a strip of meat jerky. Uh, six of them, actually. And the Memorin doll. We have undertaken the limited time records of Eminence Challenge, Vanquish Plantoids. I have undertaken the limited time record... Really? I have? Anyway. So! So there's missions and then there's quests. So... Yeah, see, these are the expansions and we're gonna get to those. But, uh... Yeah, let's look at our records of Eminence. Current quests. Here's a bunch of quests we've already taken on. Yeah, I'll look into these ones later. But these are the ones that we got from just walking around town, I suppose. Uh, records of Eminence. So we can... Records of Eminence... We can do 30 at a time. Bases. Oh, here we are. Undertake a FOV training regime. Heal without using magic. That's easy. So we want to take on as many of these as we can. Um, vanquish one enemy. I mean, that's easy. Stepping into an ambuscade. No. Call forth an alter ego. No. Exploring the trove. Assist channel. Speak to Carpenter's Guildmaster. I should set those. I didn't... Yeah. We'll go back to talk to them. Combat, general. Vanquish multiple enemies. Level synth. Sink to vanquish enemies. Deal from the damage. Deal 10. See, that's an easy one. Deal 10 to 20, 20 damage. Spoils. Fire crystal. Retain a fire crystal as a reward. All the crystals, why not? Yeah, lots of Batwing, all these spoils, these are gonna be popular. do this one yet. Alright, well, I've, um, that's most of the ones I think. I got, oh, we got 31 out of 30. That's not good. How come they let us do that? I'm surprised they let us do that. 31 out of 30. Doesn't that look weird? Alright, well, let's just go out and vanquish one enemy and then that'll at least use up one of the records of eminence, right? Let's go out and do it. Vanquish one enemy. Let's kill the first one that we come across. In West Ronfor. This is one of my favorite areas. So what do you think is the first one we're going to see? It's either going to be a worm or... I don't remember what kind of monsters they had around here. Oh, it's a bat. Attack. It's auto attack. Ding bats. Maybe we'll get some, um, maybe we'll find some bat wings, which we need. So yeah, everything just goes automatically. One more hit ought to do it. Here we are. Level up. Level 2, Beastman's Seal. We did not get any bat wings, though. Here's some of those worms I, I was talking about. Tunnel Worm. 
I don't. Yeah. Ugh, gross. Yeah, the graphics look a lot better than the way I remember them when I played on the PlayStation 2. This looks good. So, zero points of damage. Uh, 140 experience. Oh, there's a rabbit! There is a way to follow a wild rabbit. Because we need a rabbit hide, don't we? Let's kill this wild rabbit. Missed me. You got me for one point of damage. I'm doing pretty good on the hit points. Level up again. Another level up somehow. 140 experience. Level 3. How am I going up quick? Wow. Um, I want to heal without using magic. Because I think that was one of the uh, records of eminence as well. Let's see if that happens. Oh, I think I must have full hit points because I just gained a level. Here's another tunnel worm. Actually, yeah, I don't like the tunnel worms. Yes. I want a rabbit. Now, there is a way to auto-follow things. I know if we type slash follow, it'll follow. I might, but I think there's got to be a way to do that with the controller. Yeah, I want to get hit a few times so that I can at least heal. Let's kill this rabbit. This wascally wabbit. Mm-hmm. Missed. So, there I got the earth crystal. Whoops. So now I can heal. As a first time bonus, you receive 300 sparks of eminence for a total of 900, because we did heal without using magic. Yeah, follow goes right to it. Oh! The monster was concealing a treasure chest. Yes, give it to me. An ether or a pot of silent oil. Which temporary item will you obtain? Temporary item? I guess I'll take an ether. This potion instantly restores a few magic points. Um. Sure. I. I'd... Okay, there we are. So. Quests. Rec so now the records of eminence is down 29. Yeah, which. Does it show me which two I. I did? Yeah, spoils. Isn't there an earth crystal one? Yeah, this one. Oh! Oh, you have to get ten of them. All right. All right. All right. Anyways, we've done well. We got my... I got my first, um... Yeah, we... Here's another rabbit. I, I would like to see if I could get a, uh... I would like to see if I could get a rabbit hide, since we need those. Yeah! I was just surprised we've already gotten up to level 3. That can't be right. I'm going to check my status after this, too. How could we have gotten that high up already? Once we get to level 5, something really special happens. Uh, status. We are at level 3. Yeah, amazing. Hmm. I might as well just keep going a little bit here. Tunnel worm, huh? So there we are, level four. I might as well just get up to level five. Oh, a potion, I'll take that. All right, I, I obtained a potion. So let's keep going. We're 
Since we're almost at level 5 already, I guess I'll just keep going. Let's keep hunting some rabbits. Get that rabbit. Come on. How do I follow it? Yeah, the graphics look pretty good, huh? I'm, I'm pretty happy with how things are looking. I'm at, I was getting a little bit of lag before, but I sort of reduced some of the settings. Made things a little lower. It, you know, it's good enough. There's another earth crystal. We got some hair meat, but we didn't get a hide. Yeah, we'll just go to level 5 and then we'll go back. The next episode, we're just going to be uh, exploring this whole area. That'll be the whole next episode. So I don't want to do too much grinding now because, well, we're going to be seeing enough of that in the next episode or two. Well, I'll probably, what I'll do is just cut till we level up to level five. Yeah, that's a better idea. So I'll be right back. I got a bat wing. There we are, we got one. Right on. Level six. It seems level six. Wait a minute. Level six? Somehow I missed level five? Something weird's going on, guys. I'm level six. I thought that I was at level four before. Well, somehow I skipped level five magically, but anyway. Let's go back inside now. Let's talk to these two guards, though, before we leave. Or re-enter Sandori, I should say. I mustn't chat while I'm on duty. Okay, well, that's probably for the best. Orcish scouts lurk in the shadows. Consider yourself warned. crystal resonates deep within your soul. Whoa, I wasn't expecting a cutscene here. Fanadio? In the year 898? I must make haste for Ryzen Jima and find the master before... Oh, this is a commercial. Let's see how many conquest points we have earned from our first little grinding session, which was not very much. So, um, I want to spend my conquest points. So I currently have 262 conquest points, so that's pretty good. Um, we have, uh, we got about three about three different uh, records of eminence and we accepted a lot of different quests from different people we're gonna be lo looking more into those I, I there's a few people that we didn't get the chance to talk to but anyway all in good time right and then there was one more person who was alone was the one who gave us the training quests we're gonna be doing more of those let's see what uh, Roland Dien has to say now that we've accomplished a little bit. 
Oh, yeah, how many sparks? So we got 2,000, we got 2,100 sparks already. Items. Equ what is it, huh? Items. Exchange sparks. What can we buy with sparks? Scrolls. Copy of Rem's Tale. I don't know. We're gonna have I'll have to look in to find out what those things do, but, um... If you're looking for my son, he's out making deliveries. Mother, I'm home. Ramanel, b b back from work so soon. I was passing through, so I wanted to stop by and see how you were. You should be in bed resting, mother. Oh, I'm fine, really. You shouldn't, shouldn't worry about me so much. You're not fine, mother. You should stay in bed until I have enough money and get you the medicine for your Davoy fever. Oh, Raminel, you're too kind. Too kind to me. I have to make a few more deliveries. Get your rest, mother. Welcome to the Tanner's Guild. We are a union for those in the tanning and leatherworking trade. Are you blind, boy? Can you see I'm not busy with an important order? Now off with you. Hello, sir. I have been appointed by the Guild Workers Union to manage the trading of manufactured crafts and the exchange of guild points. This is Alavatand. However, to assure product quality, I cannot carry out any business with those who rank lower than novice. Well, I'm just looking for the master to talk to so that I can... Is this it? So that I can um, get the records of eminence for it. Parvapon, you an adventurer? I have a job for you. If you could bring me three rabbit hides, I'd be much obliged. I shall help. I knew I could count on you. Bring me three rabbit hides. Then... Alright, we can look for those. Wow, that's an awesome outfit. Look at that. How did you get that? That is awesome. Alright, he's not talking. I want to go out and see if I can get that first mission. Yeah, I remember when I first played this game back, like, over ten years ago, whatever it was. There was just people all over the place, you know? It was really weird. It was neat. To think we were all, like, exploring this world. Let's do some fighting. Yeah. 
I gotta get those rabbit hides, so I think I might have three by now, actually. Hair meat. Oh, actually, I don't have any hides yet. No, yeah. Oh, there's a rabbit hide. So, I got our first rabbit hide, but we need three of those. The bat wing, too. Somebody wanted a bat wing, right? I want two more rabbit hides. Yeah. Yep, there's a second rabbit hide. So, one more. Meat, but not the hide. Poor little rabbits. Killing all these rabbits, but we need them. We need their skins. Items. So we have... Wow, there's a lot of rabbits around here. There's our third rabbit hide, so. Yeah, I don't know what it's since these are temporary items. I don't. Yeah, I don't know. I guess I'll take them. All right, so we got three rabbit hides now. One, two, three. Yeah, so we'll take those back to that guy. Fetch two bat wings. Two bat wings. How many do I have now? I think I only have one. One. Oh, I have two. All right. So yeah, we we've done that. So we got the three rabbit hides and two bat wings. So that'll be enough. And we've uh, leveled. Yeah. And we've leveled up past level five, so we're good. Oh, I don't think I've been to this area yet. Oh, yeah, this area. Let's just talk to these people here, too. We gotta talk to these people. Here's X and Mile. Here's a really important character. Very important, this guy. Let's talk to him now and just see what he says. Your heir, your attire, an adventurer, I assume. Have you come looking to register for conflict? I truly am sorry, but we are not accepting applications from those who have yet to prove their loyalty to the crown. However, do not let that dampen your spirits. I am positive the day will come when I can welcome you to our noble ranks. The future of our kingdom is riding on your shoulders. Yeah, that's a very important character. We're going to talk to him again very soon. Pervidos. Flowerpot. Growl, it's just random stuff. This otherwise nondescript gray stone glows with a faint blue light. Oh, I forgot to also check to see what we're at for conquest points since we've been doing some grinding. Grillo. Oh, here's a cutscene. A recruit. What do you want with this gatehouse? A mission, please. Yes, this is what we've been looking for. Missions. Hmm, not much work for those wet behind the ears, but... 
How about slaying orcish scouts? Only the yellowest of yearlings would run for that. And we've no work for cowards here. If you're to take the mission, I'll be happy to explain. Tell me more. Here's your mission. Orcish scouts roam outside. Kill one and bring me his axe as proof. You'll have to bring me an orcish axe. No other kind will do, understand? That is all. You'll take the mission then. I accept. Bring me one of those axes and your mission will be a success. No running away now. We've a proud country to defend. So there we are. There's our first mission. Uh... Smash the Orcish Scouts. Yeah. So I'm not sure if we can take on more than one mission at a time, but there is three rank one missions. So we're almost ready to leave our home of Sandoria to do more adventuring, but there are still a few more things I wanted to do. The first place we're going to be heading is uh, the port. Actually, we might even be able to... <clears throat> Hold on. We might be able to cash in a quest on the way. I think the port is this way, and there was a fellow around here, I think. Was there not? All right, let's go and uh, turn in those bat wings to Seko Giant, which should be right around here somewhere. That was right here. There he is. Remember, I need two bat wings. Make haste. Trade a bat wing and a second bat wing. Okay. Thank you. This should hold the darkness at bay, if only for a while. Bring more if you can. 200 gil. So, there we are. That's basically one of our first, uh, that's one of our first quests done. That is the only one done. Yeah, there we are. So, one done, hundreds to go, right? Only the Honorable may serve Sandoria in all her glory. We don't need vagabonds watering down our ranks. Finish your business and get on, and get out of our city. Not very nice. These sluice gates divide northern Sandoria into two parts, the Parade Grounds and Laborman's Way. Laborman's Way is much lower than the rest of the city, so to prevent flooding, we use these sluice gates to adjust the water for the entire district. Cool. Yeah, a lot of attention to detail goes into creating all the areas in this world, I think. Ku Mos Mosel I wish that all of Sandorio was full of pretty flowers. I wonder if everybody knows about gardening. Hey there, mister. Have you heard? Have you heard? Have you? What are you talking about? Do you really want to know? Really, really? Listen, I know the secrets of gardening. What do you want to know? What do you want to know? What do I need to start? Okay, to start off, you're going to need a flower pot and some seeds. You can buy flower pots in towns, but you're going to have to go out and get your seeds from plant monsters. And then guess what? Guess, guess. Give your plant a crystal and its fruit will change. Really? Oh, I was just thinking about all the different kinds of fruit and... Hmm. Well, I'll look more into gardening later. Yeah, right. I wanted to go to the port. Darn. Okay, I'll just meet you over at the port. So here we are at the port, Sandoria. Now, we're looking for two people in this area. One is named Mien, and the other is Gulamont. Ah, right. Yeah, I'm not going to... We're a little short on... Yeah. We'll talk to these other people later when we... When it comes to that. 
Wow. Uh, what does this area look like? <clears throat> hmm. Airship docks, huh? Rusty Anchor Pub. Auction House. North Auction House. Magic Mart. Air Travel Agency. Cargo Room. Ah, oh, alright, so let's look for... There's Mien. We want to find Mien. Let's go there first. There we are. Oh, boy, this camera is driving me crazy. So, is this the right way? Nope. Nope. We want to go this way. Yikes! Oh, the camera's inverted. So, she's in here somewhere. Wow, look at this airship area. Let's activate this home point so we can warp here again sometime. Pamela. Oh, there she is, Mien. <clears throat> yep, this is one of our quests. So we gotta make sure we talk to her. You are an adventurer, are you not? Tell me, what's your mission rank? Well, hmm, even the longest journey begins with a single step, they say. Hey, out of my way. Stop, thief. Oh, oh. I've been had. Stop that thief. Nobody can catch Eska the Swift. Ha ha. Confound it. She's getting away, but I can't abandon this post. Say, that man needs some help. Why don't you help him? You are an adventurer, right? Yes, I'll, I'll go after Eska. Alright, so I gotta talk to the man. Uh, was it him? I'll tear it. You saw her, didn't you? That pickpocket. Pick she copped my gold-rimmed glasses. They belong to my wife. Please, get them back. Here we are. So, we'll look for her. I guess we find her around somewhere or something like that. You saw her, didn't you? Alright, so. Now, the other person we want to find here is Goulamont. Right there. So. We went to the. Okay, I, I, I can find that. That should be right over here, and then to the right, and then we'll be able to leave the port. I'm not sure how we're going to find that Eska. She must be just running away, or maybe she's just running around somewhere in the castle area. So, let's head into the Rusty Anchor pub. And there's Goulamont right here. It's been 20 years since the Great War, and the king is old. His little princes have grown into men now. Yet I hear they bicker over which will be king. A sadder fate has never befell a kingdom, if it's true. Who knows? And they were such good brothers in their youth. Hmm. I guess he doesn't have anything for us yet, but eventually he will give us a quest. But I guess we have to initiate something else first. All right, but at least we know where he is. It 
Yeah, it's amazing how big Sandoria is. I think Sandoria is the biggest of the three between uh, this Bastok and Windurst. Uh, I don't even remember ever being in this area when I played the game. First time around. Yeah, I'm trying to do things a little more systematically. Obviously, the internet is a huge help. It's a great resource. It's going to make it a lot easier to just sort of track. You can issue you a gold world pass, which bestows special benefits and can be used to invite friends to play in the same world. Mm, so this is where you come for that, huh? A pickpocket. Whew! My wallet's safe. It takes money to be an adventurer. The Sandoria residential area is ahead. You'll find your Mog House within. Oh. Yeah, we actually haven't been in the Mount. <clears throat> pardon me, in the Mog House yet. Let's just take a little look here. Because we might be able to exit uh, at another area. You will be able to use the assist channel. Welcome. Welcome, Master. Yep. I'm a Moogle. We Moogles like taking care of houses and items. Nice to meet you, Koopo. I'll tell you all about your Mog House, Koopo. First, the basics, Koopo. Open your main menu, Master. The button at the very bottom changes to Mog House when you're in your Mog House, Koopo. Press it and the Mog House menu will appear. Everything you can do in your Mog House is there, Koopo. There are lots of things you can do in your Mog House, Koopo. It can be too much for some masters, Koopo. So I'll teach you about each one of them. Ask me what you want to know about, Koopo. I don't think I'm going to do any of this right now. Are you sure, Koopo? You know everything about your Mog House, Koopo? And finally, a little bit of advice. If you ever run into any problems, just ask your fellow adventurer for help. If you type slash AE, hello, then your message will be heard by many people. If you type A slash E, followed by your issue or question, other adventurers will help you. Remember that you can only do this while in town. Koopo. Okay, Koopo. Good luck on your adventuring. Koopo. So... Here's our little safe space. We can, yeah, like you said, you can make furniture, you can fill it up, you can... Anyway, yeah. I think you can do a lot of your crafting and stuff here, too. Is there only one exit? It appears so. All right, well, we're almost ready to go. I just want to go to Southern Sandoria, and there's a few people I want to talk to there, and then we'll be leaving. So I'll just meet you in there at Southern Sandoria. So that's the one here. So. so here we are in Southern Sandoria. Now uh, I want to look for Roselle, Exo Roche, and Rainbroy. There's one, Exo Roche. We'll do we'll go to him first. So he is. He's in Roselle's armor shop. That's probably where we're going to find Roselle as well. So I guess we'll go there. We head right over here to the clothing district. Mm, and we want to go inside. They have an inside store. Classy joint. That must be here. All right, let's look for Roselle, 
and X Exorosh. There's Rizel. Yes, you have a beautiful store. Begging your pardon, but I'm busy. I must make a cloak for Prince Puge. And within the day. Is the master in? What is it? I said I'm busy, and I meant it. I've been sent by Prince Tryon to pay for the cloak he received from the establishment two days past. Ah, uh, ah, uh, Prince Tryon sent you? I, I, I beg your pardon. Here's payment in full. Prince Tryon has was quite pleased, you know. Said the quality was second to none. Prince Tryon is too kind. His words do his do this shop great honor. I will rely I will relay your words to the prince. Now I beg your leave. Now, where was I? Oh no, this will not do. I took payment for the cloak, but forgot to give him a receipt. <laughs> we'll do it. And this is the second one to finish. I have no time to carry a receipt over now. Perhaps you could help me. Would you take this receipt to Prince Tryon in Chateau de Goyle? Normally, I'd do it myself, but if I don't finish the other cloak for Prince Puge, my reputation is mud. Now, how about it? Will you help? Absolutely. I thank you. Remember, it's for Prince Tryon. The guards at the gate will take it for you. I should think. Now, let's look around the shop. Because I'm looking for someone else that's supposed to be here. I guess I can look at our map. We did put it on the... Wait a minute. I thought... I thought we had it on here. Uh-huh. Yeah, I think Exorosh is over here. Hallberg's Blades. There he is, Exorosh. Let's talk to this guy, see what he has to say. What's that? My son? At the parade grounds? So that's where he is. Could you let him know I'll go as soon as I'm done? Oh, that was the one with the kid that was crying, yeah. Thank you for your help. You have my gratitude. Welcome, welcome. Either of my attendants will be happy to help you. He's back again. Comes in every day to look, but never to buy. Word is, he's a royal knight. And that he's quite a weapons enthusiast. They say whenever he's off duty, he just leaves his kid and scours the weapon shop. Even I would tire of them before long. A little more backstory on Exorosh. I guess we'll go talk to his kid. I mean, tell him that everything's going to be alright. And his dad hasn't forgotten him. So, let's go talk to the kid. And then while we're here, I'm also going to buy a map from that nice lady. We'll do that right after. So first we'll talk to the kid here. This was him, I believe. What? You you found my father? Abesh. Father? Why, you milksop. 
Lose sight of your father and all you do is wail for the nearest stranger? Have you no shame? But, but, father! Enough! You are elven. I expect more from you. Understand? But, but, father! No! I'll forge you into the shape yet. Now stand there till you get a hold of yourself! F father How could you? Let me apologize for my son. Please accept this in return for your time. Wow. No. Th that's my fishing rod, father. Quiet. I will not have my own son crying like a baby. God, he's a hard ass. No, father. Don't leave me. Jeez, this is depressing. Willow fishing rod. I got the kid's fishing rod and he just got berated in front of me. Yikes. Oh, I want my willow fishing rod. I wonder if I should give it back to him. Well, he wants it. I'm going to give it to him. I can get another rod later. I'm not planning on doing um, any fishing for a long time. So... Um... Let's look for that willow fishing rod. And give it to him. You are returning it to me? Why, thank you. Now I can go fishing with my friends. But please do not pity my father. He is kind sometimes. Oh, when will my father take me fishing? So I didn't get anything for that. Did I... I don't know. Did I get anything for that? Quests? Uh, completed. Father and son. Yeah, I guess that's it. I didn't... I guess I got some experience for that. Hmm. The old lady. Alright, so I am going to buy a few of these maps. So I, I want to buy Ordell's Caves. This complete map of Ordell's Caves, which extended far beneath Planet 2. Well, okay, I don't need that yet. So the first map I'm going to buy is going to be... Huh, I don't see it here anymore. Oh, next page. Yeah, this one. King Rampair's Tome. I want to buy that one. Yes. Obtain key item. There we are. Uh, so I, and I think that's all I want for now. Right? <clears throat> Alright, so now that we have our map and we've uh, done all, most of the... Oh, wait a minute. Where was that... Hold on. Parvapon in southern Sandoria. Parvapon. I believe Parvapon was in here. It's probably whoops. So, um Ponel. She's not. She's actually around here. So 
So here she is, or he is, Parvapon. Still, I still I wait for three rabbit hides. Wait, whoops. Oh, I I, I just can't believe the controls sometimes. So rabbit hides, where are they? Let's see. We had one here. One here, and one here. Thank you for the help. If you are interested, I always need more. 120 gil. So, now, there's one more thing for us to do, and then we're basically done. It's been, wow, so much preparation, but that's, that's just how this game works. So now we want to talk to, I forget his name. But he's by the fountain. One of the fountains. Which one, though, huh? Hmm. I'll find him. And I'll just cut to it when we get to him. Suspicious Elven? Yeah, that is suspicious. I am elated that my lambent glow is a is apparent to thee. Visit my kinsman who d dwelleth in the Pashao marshlands. An anon, if you yearnest for an experience like none other. Okay. Now, what do we have here? Is this the this is the cathedral? I guess, huh? Yeah. No, we want to talk to the guards at the Chateau d'Arguil. Because we were supposed to give them something. It's been 20 years since my son joined the Temple Knights, and still, Ronfor is thick with orcs. It's all the fault of those royal knights. Does Prince Tryon think to undo all that my son has brought? Does he? Not happy. Oh god, there's crystals all over the place. I should have... There is no place for the weak. Leave at once. Alright. A receipt, eh? I can't read this fancy writing. Who's it for? Prince Tryon or Prince Puge? All right, I'll deliver it for you. We can't let you in looking like that. Wait here. He really is going in. And I can't move, so we really are waiting. Yeah, I actually had forgotten about this uh, quest or, yeah, but since we were right here, why not? We got that one done. Another one done. And we've barely left the castle. We've already accomplished quite a few. Quests. I deliver the receipt for the prince to Prince Tryon. You're dismissed. Oh, and tell that shopkeeper to send someone respectable next time. That's it. So I guess we have to talk to... We might have to talk to the shopkeeper again. There it is, finally. So it's all the way over there at Lion's Square. So here it is. Here's the fountain area I was wanted to return to. So, gone to Bod. Okay, first I'm going to activate this home point so that we can always get here again nice and quick.
Yeah, we've got most of the home points in Sandoria now done. Gondabod. Now that we are at past level 5, he'll have something different to say to us. Hail, friend. No need to be so fleet of foot. Come, let me impart upon you a tantalizing morsel of information. A freshly hatched adventurer such as yourself could surely appreciate the offer I am about to lay forth for your consideration. I, Gondabad, am an esteemed member of the storied Juno Institute of Magical Studies. Mayhap I am repeating what you already know, but Juno is a grand city far to the southeast of here that connects the Quan and Mindarsha continents. The leading council has bid me come to this fair land of Sandoria with a most sacred mission. Several moons past, our famed institute held a lavish symposium at which we made privy to the public information about a new form of magic. These new forms of incantations, which we call trust, would prove a mighty boon to adventurers of your caliber. I bevy a new experience awaits should you choose to participate in this grand experiment. Will you embark on a journey to this fresh new world? I'd love to. How fortuitous! I swear by every gray hair on this head that you will not regret it. Your first task is to head to the city gates in northern Sandoria. There you will find someone engaged in the running of Ballista, a type of mock skirmish. Some call him by the moniker of the Grand Hero of Sandoria. As you have already surmised, experimental magic may have unknown effects on the world, so he is very careful to ensure the safety of everyone involved. In fact, he is so dedicated to his goal that he himself stepped up as the nation's first participant in the program. The two other grand nations, Bastok and Windurst, have also seen others step up to try their hand at this wonderful manifestation of the arcane. But we will leave those journeys for a later day. Your first step starts here, in Sandoria, where you will garner the services of one of Vanadiel's, Vanadiel's most storied heroes. Yes, stupendous. Under my expert tutelage here in Sandoria, you will surely grasp the basics of trust in no time. Take this letter of introduction with you and head to Rampere's Gate in northern Sandoria. To get to northern Sandoria, you must first head west of here, then north towards Victory Square. After reaching northern Sandoria, you are to make for Rampere's Gate. Once there, seek out Exon Mill. And pray do not affront him in any fashion. The words of a hero, such as he, carry unmatched weight in this land. There we are, and we've actually talked to Exon Mail very briefly. So let's go talk to him now. So here we are back in Northern Sandoria, right by the gates, and Exon Mail was in this grassy area right by the exit. Now where was he? Yeah, he wasn't very friendly when we talked to him last time. Let's see if he... There he is. Let's see what he has to say now. I am Exon Mail, M. Orkayat, overseer of all conflict-related matters. I see. You wish to try your hand at trust. In bygone times, I might have said that adventurers were to be kept at an arm's distance, like the deranged mother of one's partner. Yet when I choose to revive the ancient traditions of conflict and ballista, it was you, the adventurers, who headed the call to battle. As such, I shall permit you to engage in the trust ritual with me. You are not aware of what trust magic is? Sometimes I wonder if Gondabad's head is filled with naught but cobwebs. The trust ritual draws forth energy from ardent bonds of trust and camaraderie as are forged betwixt brothers in arms upon the battlefield. To cut to the quick, if a strong bond is, exists between the two of us, you will be able to summon an alter ego of me. Indeed, I could drive your foes into the sea as I did the orcs of Razoa. The problem is, I could hardly pick you out of a lineup with similarity built individuals. Yes, I am ready to commit to the ritual. Come, take my hand and concentrate on the bonds that the two of us have forged. 
Yeah, so this is a very important thing. This is new. This whole trust system is a new thing they added to the game since the last time I played, and this is what makes the game a little more playable solo. It makes the game a little bit more like Final Fantasy XII, for example. Hmm. No, I'm not displeased. I'm rather pleasantly surprised at our joint success. What is disgraceful is the very thought that there could be two of me. How can my power be unmatched when there are two XMLs? Think of it, Oko. Think of the possibilities this magic could open up. If only we harness it properly. A whole army of Exenmals could even... Yes, the Orc Empire would be like a prostrate babe crying out for its mother's milk. Ha 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 ha! Would you fancy that? Tonight we drink, tomorrow we vanquish! I am warming to the idea of this trust more and more. Ha 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 ha! Though I must admit, I barely expected success to come so easily. I triumphed in the bonding only once before. It was with my old friend Rahal, leader of the Royal Knights. But all those who came after him failed spectacularly. But that man can be so infuriating. Go here. Hold your sword like this. Turn 90 degrees and touch your nose. Make sure you do not fall into the same trap. In commemoration of this momental event, I hereby present you with a scroll containing all we have achieved. Using this should enable you to summon my alter ego. I advise you to try your hand at your nearest convenience, outside of town, that is. May I suggest East or West Ronfor? They are both nearby and provide ideal conditions for you to try out this newfound power. When you are finished, return here and inform me as to how you are progressing. All right, and there we go. That's that's how that's going to be our little fighting buddy, our second party member for when we go out and actually start adventuring now. So, before we go out, I'm just going to recast Sinet. Okay, we're going out for our first long grinding session. Let's just get Sinet recast. All right, and there we go. Uh, so we'll go out and we'll uh, summon X and Mill, and then I guess we'll just call it quits for now. We have lots of, we have one mission to do, looking for an orc axe. All right, so um, I've never done this before, so let's see. Trust X and Mill. Let's see what happens. On Okozigo, uh, did it work? Yeah, there he is. There we are. I wonder if I can actually check him. Release. What does he have for magic? Oh, he's... Does he have anything? No spells. I think he's just a melee fighter. Abilities. Provoke. Mighty strikes. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure he fights on his own. But anyway, the two of us are going to be going off and exploring West and East Ron 4. And we're going to be doing that in the next episode. So yeah, I mean that's a lot. We did a lot on this episode. I mean it just takes a long time, and and this was with this is with a player, this is coming from a player who's done all this before, and it still took forever. But now the real adventure begins. So thank you everybody for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel by clicking the link below. I'm Oko, and we'll see you all on the next episode of our playthrough of Final Fantasy XI. Thanks for watching everybody. Bye for now.